In Excel, the payment or PMT function allows us to easily compute the amount of each payment for a loan, assuming that the amount of each payment and the interest rate remain constant over the life of the loan. These two assumptions, that is, a fixed payment and a fixed interest rate during the loan period, are very common among the types of loans that most people have during their lives, such as mortgage loans or car loans. To use the payment function, we need to provide Excel with three different pieces of information. The first required input is the periodic interest rate, which we can think of as the interest rate associated with each payment for the loan. For example, if the annual interest rate for the loan is 6%, and we are making one payment each month, or 12 payments per year, then the periodic interest rate would be equal to 6% divided by 12 or 0.5% per payment. The next required input for the payment function is the number of periods or the number of payments for the loan. For example, if we have a three-year loan and we are making payments each month, then we would have a total of 36 loan payments. The third required input is the present value for the loan. This is simply the amount of money that we are borrowing which is also commonly referred to as the principal for the loan. Note that when using the payment function in Excel, we typically enter the present value for the loan as a negative number, because from our perspective, we are taking on debt, and the loan has a negative impact on our personal wealth. Let's see an example of the payment function. Here we have a simple Excel worksheet which we can use to calculate the payments for a car loan. To begin, let's assume that we want to borrow $17,000 to purchase a car, and that we will have an annual interest rate of, say, 7%. Further, let's assume that we want a five-year loan, and that we will make one payment each month for a total of 12 payments per year. With this information, we can easily compute the periodic interest rate by dividing the annual interest rate by the number of payments per year. We can also easily calculate the total number of payments by multiplying the duration of the loan in years by the number of payments that we will make each year. In this case, we can see that the loan involves a total of 60 payments. Now that we have all of the required information, Let's use Excel's payment function to calculate the amount of each loan payment. The first required input value for the payment function is the periodic interest rate, which we have in cell B7. The next required input value is the number of periods, or the total number of payments, for the loan, which we have in cell B8. The final required input value is the present value of the loan, which is also known as the principal, or the amount of money that we wish to borrow. Remember that we typically enter the present value for the loan as a negative number, because from our perspective, we are taking on debt. I will therefore enter a minus sign in front of the reference to cell B2, which contains the amount of the loan. As we can see, under these conditions, our loan payment would be $336.62 per month. Using our worksheet, we can easily see what would happen if we change one or more of the input parameters. For example, if the interest rate were to be 2% instead of 7%, then we can see that the monthly payment would be reduced to $297.97. If the terms of our loan required us to make just one payment per year instead of 12, then the total amount of each payment would be $4,146.14. Similarly, if the terms of our loan required us to make four payments per year, then the amount of each payment would be $1,014.75. As you can see, the payment function can be very useful for examining different loan scenarios.